In the mountains of western Utah, drilling for hot rocks could bring geothermal energy to more people around the world. Traditional geothermal power taps into hot water below the earth and uses that steam to drive turbines that generate electricity. That depends on a steady source of hot springs close to the surface. This U.S. Department of Energy-sponsored research in Utah is looking to close the loop on geothermal. John McLennan is the project's technical lead. The principle for doing that is to drill wells to depth to reach the heat and then create hydraulic fractures that connect these wells so that you've pr produced a heat exchange system. Now you can circulate cold fluid through one well. That fluid percolates through these hydraulic fractures that you've created. It's collected in a second well that you've drilled to intersect these fractures, and this hot water is brought to the surface. Where it is used for heating or for generating electricity, just like regular geothermal. It is part of the Biden administration's Energy Earth Shots initiative to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050, hereby engineering enhanced geothermal in a relatively small area. We have drilled two wells and we're probably occupying three or four acres to drill that. Now you compare that with the footprint of some other renewables and it's, it's really quite modest. Developments at this underground field laboratory have drawn interest from around the world, says project manager Joe Moore. Imagine if we could produce a geothermal system wherever we wanted, somebody's parking lot. This would, this would be a game changer. And could bring to more parts of the world the inexhaustible renewable resource of heat from the Earth's core. Lindsay Daniels, VOA News, Milford, Utah.